everybody. So I got this Frigidaire bread machine off of Amazon. Very reasonable in price. My other bread machine, the paddle for it went down the dish disposal. I kept ordering the wrong one, having to send it back. Did it a couple times. I got over it. So I decided I'm just going to, after all the hassle, I'm just going to order a new one because I found one for really reasonable. I can link it in the description below. But today I'm going to try to make some banana bread. I have these bananas that have been in my freezer. Took them out, thawed them out. So I'm going to go ahead and try. Here's my bread machine pan that goes with that. So I am going to try this recipe and see how it works. It calls for milk. I'm going to use almond milk. So we put the ingredients in the order that they are listed. So a third cup of almond milk. All right. And then two eggs beaten. These are my eggs that I had water glass. This is what I have left of them. I have taken these out and rinsed two of them out. These ones are doing great. Remember the my egg disaster where I had one that broke in there? These ones, I've been using them just for baking. I did have some fresh eggs. So these ones have been great. I've This is all I have left. So I really have only been using them for baking and they've been working wonderful. And then it says a half a cup of butter melted. Now I don't have a lot of butter left. I have not gone to the store since the pantry challenge. So I am actually going to use olive oil. And I am going to use a half a cup of olive oil and a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm trying to make this vanilla last till November when I go back to the Caribbean to get some more. I used to just dump tons because I love vanilla, but I'm trying to be a little bit better. Then three medium bananas. Now I actually have four, so I might do just a little bit less of the sour cream. I suppose I could have did a little bit less of the oil but I always like a little extra banana in mine anyway. And these were ones that they've literally just been in my freezer. So I've taken them out. I might just mush them with a fork a little bit. It says to lightly beat the eggs too. So I think I will just do that all together. I'm just doing this on my 10 minute break, you guys. So this will show you how quick and easy it is to get this going in the bread machine. And I also did those two crock pot meals where I literally, cause you know, I haven't been feeling well. So I literally just pulled them out of the freezer and made them in the crock pot and I made an instant pot of brown rice. So I have meals for the entire week. I have some chia seed pudding so I can have a little slice of I can have a little slice of banana bread with some chia seed pudding, and that would be a perfect, perfect breakfast. Then it says a quarter cup of sour cream. I think I'm gonna do just a little bit left. I don't have sour cream, so I'm gonna use some cream cheese that I bought for my cowboy candy. But like I said, I'm gonna do less of that. We're improvising here, guys. Remember, we just got done with the pantry challenge, so I'm just, so I'm just going to use a little bit less of that. It says one cup of sugar. I have a little bit of white cane sugar left in my bag here, so I'm going to use that up. This bread machine actually came with a book of recipes, and it has like these little measuring. It'll say like one large thing, one small spoon. So it is kind of cool. Now I am going to make some whole grain bread and use in. in grind up but just because I wanted to make some sweet bread and I am using these bananas out of my freezer I am going to use white my white organic flour in this bread I want to try it the way the directions say before I actually use my wheat berries in this so after the cup of sugar we're going to do two cups of flour two cups 
And then, I'm still out of breath, you guys. <laughs> a half a teaspoon of salt. Just throw that in there. And then one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda. So, teaspoon, not tablespoon. So, this is the baking soda. One teaspoon. And then one and a half of the baking powder. Now you can put a half a cup of chopped pecans in here. I actually have some chopped pecans. So I think, or some pecans. I'll just take a little handful and break them up. All right, there we have it. And now what I'm gonna do is I am going to put this on medium crust and quick bread in my bread machine. I didn't obviously didn't wear an apron. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm gonna close this up here. We are gonna do, what is quick bread? Quick bread is number six. Medium and start. There we have it, that's it. That's all I do to make this banana bread. I will show you what is done. Hopefully it will turn out good. This is the first time I've ever made banana bread in a bread machine, so we will see. There it is. All right, see you soon. Bye. Okay, here are my final results on the banana bread in the bread machine. So, as you can see, there are still some dried flour bits on the end. I cut into it. It's all done well. So I followed the instructions. This is not a recipe that came with this bread machine. And the directions say put the ingredients in the exact order with the dried on top, which I did. But I think if I make this again, because it's plenty moist, it looks good. I did put in extra banana, so I think I'd only do three bananas, not four. And I think I would slightly mix the dry ingredients in. So this does not happen. So I think I'm going to try it. I will let you know how it is. And I'm going to have to not eat the dry ingredients at the end because I certainly don't want to get a not a good bite. But other than that, it smells amazing. It looks well. It looks good. But I just wanted to give you an honest review on my first time making banana bread in a bread machine. I will let you know how it tastes. All right. Thanks so much, guys.